so if you've seen my previews, I've done a couple on TikTok. I've done a few teasers in the last video as well with the uh, Vortex. This is a Red Cat Everest Gen 7 Pro. At least it was. I mean, it's still the same chassis. But because I broke the body, um, I broke the light bar, and I've got some serious cracks going on here. I have asked uh, in a couple of videos what body should I put on there. I've asked for suggestions. Nobody really gave me any, so I went my own way with it. If you notice, the wheels are completely different now. We've also got some extenders on there. And we changed the motor out. And it's got an all-metal gear transmission. Different drive shafts on it. And it's also got portal axles. And this is what we turned it into. This is 79 Ford F250 J Concepts body. Um, I'll put a link in the descriptions down here of which body it is. This is the roll cage out of the Everest. This is the roof rack out of the Everest. I took all the stuff off the top just to save weight. We put some Mickey Thompson Baja claws on there. And we did some beadlock style wheels, one nines. And other than, other than that, Everything's the exact same. We kept the rear bumper because I have plans for a trailer. And I will show you why I have plans for a trailer. I haven't decided if I want to buy one or build one yet, but I'll let you know coming soon. And we got a new toy. Wouldn't be right to compare the Everest Gen 7 Pro versus itself modified without getting a Traxxas TRX 4. Everybody says it's the best crawler. Definitely got to try that out. So we're going to go ahead and unbox this thing, see what comes in the package. So, all the decals, some tools, the user manual, and your controller. Now that's your standard TQ Traxxas controller. This is the TRX4 Sport, so it doesn't have a uh, two-speed transmission. It's just a standard body, uh, no lights on it has a fake winch on it but it does have the hooks for it so we can easily add one if we wanted to so now that we got the plastic removed let's really take a look at this thing it's pretty sweet so far uh bumper hitch receiver portal axles one nine wheels pretty soft tires nowhere near as soft as those mickey thompson's standard plastic body shell portals springs looks good now this is my second 110 scale crawler 21 turn titan 550 motor runs up to a 3s battery xl5 esc uh the traxxas id connectors i'll be changing those fully adjustable shocks alloy i think that's a plastic tie rod in chassis mounted servo Let's flip it over so yeah central drive plastic drive shafts plastic housings plastic everything pretty low geared that's it's going to be interesting So let's do a quick compare and contrast on this thing. <clears throat> Don't get me wrong, that TRX4 looks good, real good. But these tires aren't as grippy as those tires. The uh, portals are way better on the TRX4. I already know that just from the research I've done. Uh, like I said, these have 25 millimeter wheel extenders, so it is clearly wider. It also has a much higher flex than the TRX4. But that also has to do with me changing the shock position and the extenders. It doesn't hit the body. 
this. Well, you know what? I bet this TRX4 has a further travel. I'll tell you what, let's test that out. So no, the Red Cat Gen 7 has much further flex. But again, that is not a stock Red Cat Gen 7. With some modifications, that TRX4 would have a lot more. That's not bad out of the box. But like I said, this Gen 7 has a ton of flex in it. It is right on the edge. Yeah, that's all the flex it has in it. So let's measure that and see what that is. So for all my American viewers, that is four and seven eighths of an inch. Which isn't that bad. That's real close to five inches of flex. The servo, that was like a $15 servo. <clears throat> I know these angles are extreme on this steering. And that's another thing that I have noticed already is that when the steering goes on the Red Cat, it actually moves the whole entire chassis. Um, with the TRX4, it's also a chassis mounted servo, but the chassis doesn't move when it turns. <laughs> so that'll be nice. Um, another couple of differences here. These are, this whole entire wheelbase on the Red Cat has been extended, but it's easy to do. It's actually uh, real close to factory locations, but the approach angle is pretty much 90 degrees. The departure angle is real close to 90 degrees and it can crawl easily at a 45 degree angle without flipping. <clears throat> the TRX4 is far from a 90 degree approach and far from a 90 degree departure. But we're going to take these out on the trails and I'm going to show you the difference. Also guys, don't forget to hit up the links in my about section on my YouTube account. I do previews on TikTok. Uh, they're only like 17 to 20 second videos, but they're definitely good previews to see what's coming up. And also that's a chance for you guys to let me know if you like what you see or not. And I can make content that you guys want to see. And I have plenty of stuff coming up. I have... Well, let's take a look. I have this thing fixed. Um, I figured out what the voltage problem was. And I will put that in the next video. This thing here is fixed. And it had, like I said, a bad steering servo. We went ahead and replaced it. Uh, that's fixed. This has become a parts car. So, yeah, it's got some good parts in it. That's fixed. And it's really fast. And also, guys, I have another car coming that... I'm going to do a project 100 mile per hour buggy on an honest 100 miles per hour. I'm not going to stop until it hits at least 100 miles an hour. Then we're going to figure out what the cost is on it. But in the meantime, this video is all about crawlers. So let me know what you think in the comments. All right. So Jeffrey Sundell, we got what? Six crawlers out. 224s, 410s. There's a hill we're working with. I don't think anything's gonna make it to the top. I really don't think so either. I honestly think that my J Concepts truck is going to be obliterated. I got bodies gonna make one, maybe two crawls and be crushed. Camera's definitely helping me. <laughs> I'll just let it go.
the front doesn't help. You need some rear weight. I'll take that to us. I'm on truck. No way!
See you guys, Sandel here is actually a freaking crawler guy. I'm a basher guy. I don't care about my trucks. I just go out and destroy them. He actually cares. Cares so much, he's going to grab his winch and, you know, help me out here. I don't know, man. I don't think that hook's gonna fit in that D-ring. Uh -oh, here we go. Jeep saving the TRX. It's actually really cool. Oh, almost. There it went. Guys, that TRX swore surprised the crap out of me. It was the only one to make it up that massive hill. Although we also didn't run this one. I have a feeling this one is sneaky good. Either that or it's not. I, I don't know. I've never really seen it crawl. With the bright tires on it, it will perform, but it still will not outmatch the Traxxas TRX4 out of the box. Even with as much money I, I have in and on these trucks, out of the box, the SEX 10.3 is pretty good, but it's mostly for looks not for performance. The TRX4 on the other hand, it is designed straight out of the box to outperform more than what most people expect out of a RTR vehicle. I don't know, it beat my, uh, beat my red cat. And I got about 700 in that red cat. And I got almost 600 in that and a little over 530 in the other JT. That's actually my comp crawler. I have trail tires on it right now, but unfortunately I didn't think about crawling on rocks today, so I just kept the trail tires on it. Those, those are the Dixie Pex. They're good tires, but they're mostly for scale, not for performance. If you want performance, you want the Baja crawls. To me, I, I do think that the, uh, whoops, the TRX4 the way they got the weight distribution set up on it definitely helps. It's got all that, it's got the battery in the center. It's got the motor in the front. ESC on the side, receiver, I mean, it's, it's balanced. It's very well balanced. The transmission's down low on it. Where the Red Cat, this is running factory Red Cat. I mean, everything's in a stock location. So, the Red Cat sits way higher and way more forward. So, that's probably what the problem is with it. Uh, <laughs> there's no comparison. Really, there is no comparison. Stock to stock, that thing is a piece of crap compared to this.